Hey, I just wanted to pop in here and talk about loneliness and how to overcome loneliness. And as I was kind of doing some research in some of my divorce professional resources, um, I came across a statistic and I had forgotten about this. And so many of you are not getting the support post-divorce, going through your divorce. It's a really, really difficult time for men. And, you know, one of the biggest questions I get asked, because I actually get, you know, asked to speak on a lot of podcasts and presentations for men in divorce, because I think there's very few people talking about men and the impact that it has, that divorce has on men. And it's really, really shocking. And, and they're just not, you're just not getting the support you need. And, and there's so much wrong with the system. There's so many things that are going wrong with the courts and how they treat fathers. I mean, it's a super archaic system. I'm not even going to deny that. And navigating it is really extremely overwhelming. But let's talk about the emotional stuff. I I mean, you know, men just don't have the support on top of it. You know, they, you know, there's this, you know, myth of like the strong man, you know, and it's not okay for men to have feelings. And like, when I talk about the men's group versus the women's group. A lot of people are surprised when I talk about, oh my gosh, the men are in so much pain. There's so much pain. And people are like, really? <laughs> I'm like, yes, divorce is devastating. It's super devastating. And when you're a man, it's not okay for you to talk about this with your friends or talk about this at work. Whereas for women, that's, um, Typically, and I know I'm, we're speaking in generalities here, for many, you know, women, it's, you know, super okay. It's, you know, in our culture to to talk openly about our feelings. In fact, we bond over that. We bond over our problems and our issues and things like that. And for men, that's just not the case. And so men really struggle to have an outlet for these feelings. And here's the thing, y'all men have a 250 times mortality rate once they've gone through divorce, which doesn't surprise me because, you know, I've been through it. I know, I know that the impact that it has on you health wise, emotional wise, and for men, it increases their, their um, likelihood of cancer, of heart attack, um, autoimmune problems, and in fact, like, you know, they were more susceptible when COVID was going on because of all the impacts that divorce has, which, you know, it doesn't surprise me. It really, really doesn't, you know? And so it is really important that men get the support that they have, that they, that they need through this. And I got this new client and one of the issues that he is, is struggling with is a very sudden divorce. I mean, I I keep telling him, holy shit, like you have suffered a lot of devastation and a lot in a very, very short amount of time, the loss of his business due to COVID and then COVID itself, which, you know, shut down um, some other things and then a very recent move. So he lost the support system. And then his wife just suddenly said, I want a divorce. And there was no like marriage counseling. There was no like talk about it. It was just like, you know. And so he's dealing with the ramifications of loneliness. And so, you know, after our very, very first session, he messaged me and was like, holy cow, I've uncovered this layer of betrayal and abandonment after our first session that I didn't even like, wasn't even aware of. And I know it's very painful. He's in this process right now. And I keep reminding him, you know, we've got to nurture you. We've got to give you that support. We've got to give you what you need right now. Lots of self-compassion, lots of self-care, lots of self-nurturing, finding yourself right now, giving yourself what you need because the grief you're experiencing is very overwhelming. And now you're peeling back the layers 
because a lot of men, this is where one of the few areas where men and women do differ a little bit. A lot of men, because we're, you are socially conditioned to like not talk about your feelings and just like stuff it down and like move on, right? Rub some dirt on it. Like, <laughs> let's go. Um, that you stuff it down. You don't really deal with the deeper layers of loss and process like letting go and abandonment and, you know, even stuff from childhood and things that's not okay for you to deal with or to talk about. So you tend to like, this is one of the few areas of difference between men and women, but, but men tend to like push it aside, not deal with it, and then move on very quickly into another relationship. And what happens with men in particular is that the, the relationships that they jump into tend to be more and more and more toxic. So they tend to find a woman who makes them feel very valued and appreciated and honored right away. And then she has a hidden agenda that like you miss the red flags and you kind of are in denial or they make you feel good in a way, but there's, there's other red flags that you're ignoring, right? So it's really, really important to understand what this loneliness is really trying to signify to you, because that is what I did with my client, even on our very first session. And again, one session, we was like, oh my God, this is so powerful because it's going to lead him to a faster process of healing. And what makes me different is that I give like very conscious, intentional exercises that you're going to walk away with and be able to implement in your life that are going to help you peel back the layers and feel more confident faster, feel freer, feel more productive and more energetic again. So, you know, the key is I, you know, I gave them some conscious exercises to mindfully look into what this loneliness is telling you to ask yourself, what's the deeper layer here? When's the first time I felt this feeling of abandonment or what am I struggling to let go of? If I let go of this idealized version of the marriage, what am I afraid of, right? Because so many men don't want to let go of this idealized version of the marriage. They, they, they're, they don't want to let go because they're afraid to face the pain that's underneath that. And so what I often ask myself, is this a true, you know, version of the marriage or is this the potential what you thought it would have been? Was she really who you thought she was or are you really denying parts of her? Because that's what I find that most men do is like they just idealize their ex-wife and only the good parts. And they kind of like, oh, I'm going to just forget about all the like bad times and for all the things that she did to me and all those things. So we have to balance that out. So I would love to have you at my workshop next week. We are going to be talking about how to overcome loneliness, how to trust again, how to identify these red flags so you don't end up repeating the same process, how to develop that self-care plan so you get energy again, feel healthy again, feel confident again, and not be one of these men that has that high mortality rate right? because that just makes me like just devastated just talking about it, thinking about it. But it is so true. So many men don't have the support they need, don't have the tools that they need, don't feel safe to share. And I want this to be an environment where you can feel safe, where you can share, where you can get what you need to heal and move past this and not have to internalize it and live in the pain. I really do. So Check out the link below because we're going to be live. We're going to be together. You can ask questions. It's a very interactive. If you've attended my workshops before, fantastic. But if you've attended multiple, you know no workshop is the same because I try to make them interactive. And it's about serving the people who are there with us live. So I hope you'll join me. Okay. All right. I'm going to send this link below and I look forward to seeing you soon. All right. Bye.